Hello, it's Lee here, and we're going to make a recording on setting up the Audacity uh, audio editor. First thing I do is uh, Google search Audacity. Doing this from the top because um, the recording I've made on YouTube is long ago out of date, and a lot of things have changed. I'm getting a lot of comments on YouTube asking how the hell to do the MP3 and things like that. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of it has to do with the capabilities of your computer also, what sort of sound card you've got. But let's just go ahead and um, Google search Audacity. There we can see the download link. We'll go straight to that. Now, I'm, at the moment, I'm on a Windows computer, uh, so I'm going to download the Windows version. There's two versions here. Beta means that the new version, this 1.3 version, is still under production. 1.2 previous version is uh, latest stable version or, or reliable. So we'll go to the Windows download. Okay, a little bit about systems requirements. If you've already gone through these steps and something's not working, maybe have a little study on that systems requirements. Okay, recommended download. Well, that's the 1.2.6 installer. It's an exe file and it's 2.1 megabyte install. Let's go to that. Okay. I'm getting a little warm on Chrome browser and this is how it pops up. So it asks me, do I really want to get this XE? And I'll just go, yes. Okay, so there it is downloading there. While we're here though, to create MP3 out of Audacity, you need to add an additional plugin to it uh, or an encoder because uh, MP3 is a commercial codec. So for that reason, I guess, or the Audacity producers couldn't um, bundle it into Audacity without paying a royalty fee one of many arguments why we should get off our addiction to MP3. But let's just open that in a new tab just to see what it's saying to us now. In the old days we used to just download a file and point Audacity to it, but I think it's a little different now. Okay, there's the Windows instructions. Go to the lame download page under the for Audacity on Windows. Left click, that's a normal click that exe file and save the file anywhere on your computer. Do not right click. Okay, and then double click and then we go through what I imagine is a setup. So let's just go to the download page. Okay, it's a bit of a turn off, isn't it? It looks nothing like the page we were just at. But there it is for Audacity on Windows exe. Now, normal click, not right click to save the exe, normal click it. Now in mine, again, it's popping up saying, do you really want to save that? And I go, yes. All right, that's already finished. How far are we down the line with this? Not very far to go. Okay, that's good to go. Okay, so I'm just, that's the same as double clicking the, um, oh hang on, that's the lame, we don't want that to run yet, so I'll just cancel that. The Audacity for Windows we do, so we'll install that first. Now I could have gone to where I downloaded it and just simply double click the XE. Same thing would have happened, do you really want to run this? Yes, run it. And we've got the setup wizard. Next. And I agree to the general public license. Next, next. We're going to put it in program files under Audacity. Yeah, that's fine. Next. So I've already got it installed. Would you like to install it? Okay, we'll just do it anyway. Create a desktop item. Yep. Associate the Audacity project files. Why not? Yes, install, install. Okay. That's installing over the top. Don't want to quite launch Audacity yet. Oh, why not? We'll just have a look at it. Okay. For those new, completely new to Audacity, here it is. That's a play button, that's the record button, that's the pause button, that's the stop button. Each time you stop and repress record, a new track will form here. If you want to record to the same track, you press the pause button on the record, and when you, uh, I think it's either press the pause or the record button again, it'll keep recording on the same track. Now, your sound card will determine whether or not you've got all of these options including uh, where to record from. Uh, okay, it's been a while since I've looked at it, but 
Some sound cards don't enable you to record the sound coming from the card. They only allow you to record from a microphone input. And if your sound card doesn't allow you to record from the card, in other words, the sounds that the computer's making, such as when you're making, watching a video or something like that, uh, then your sound card is, uh, is the fault there, not Audacity. All right, now we've got to do the lame MP3 encoder. We've already downloaded it, and it seems that I've lost the little windows, so I'm going to have to go to my folder of downloads. Okay, it's in here somewhere. Lame. Uh, can you see it? It's a pretty quick download. I might have to download again. I need to tell that downloader to go to my desktop. It's just easier. Um, Alright, we'll do it again. Alright, there it is now. And we're going to open it, and we're going to run it. Next. Accept the agreement. Next. Next. Install. Finished. Right, now I'm just going to double check the instructions on that lame MP3 encoder. Sorry, I'll just go back a tab there. So I double clicked to launch it. Follow the setup instructions. The first time you use the export as MP3, Audacity will ask to locate the lame ink.dl. Navigate to the lame for Audacity's folder. Select OK. We can do that. Let's do that. Right, just going to make a quick recording. Hello, this is me speaking into Audacity. Now, I want to file export as MP3. And I'll call the file a test file. Put it to my desktop, I guess. And save. Now, here's the pop-up. Audacity does not export to MP3 files directly. Instead, you need to navigate to the lame. Would you like to locate the lame underscore enc dot dll now? Yes, I would. Right, so now we've got to go to C drive. If you're in Windows, C drive. Program Files, Lame for Audacity, and there it is in there. Okay, so this is a do once only. Once you've done it, you're all set to go. And then you just put in the name test. I will just do test all the way through. But uh, there's like the metadata for your MP3 recording. Okay. And that will have created an MP3. And there it is there. So I won't have to point to that DLL file anymore, but that's how you do it. Hopefully that solved some of your problems your end. If your problems persist, it could be your computer, specifically your sound card. Try doing this on another computer uh, and that'll answer it.